Hi there, this is Ross, you're an agent with the Pet Care Insurance Program, and I'm gonna walk you through the process of adding an additional insured onto your policy. Very simple to do. So first you wanna to go to our website where you purchase the policy at petcareins.com. Again, uh, petcareins.com. Once you're there, you'll land on our homepage, and on the top right-hand side, you'll see an option to log in. You wanna click on that, and when you click on that, you want to put in the email address and the password that you first set up when you purchased the policy. And then if you forgot your password, you can click here for, if you forgot your password, then you can reset it through your email address. And once you're logged in, you'll be brought to your dashboard page right here. And it'll have your name here. And on the left-hand side, top left-hand side, you'll see a Manage Policies section. You want to click on Add Additional Insured. And this is where you'll type in the information for the, the vendor, the venue, uh, the customer that wants to be added onto your policy as an additional insured. So you'll type in uh, the business entity that they want. Let's say, for example, you're renting a space in a, in a building. You want to put in the uh, their email address for sure as well, because uh, when you put in their email address, uh, uh, the document will be sent to them automatically once you create it here. And again, that's only done if you add their email address. We are a paperless company, so we won't be sending it to them in the mail. But if you include their email address, it will be sent to them automatically. Or you can download it from your dashboard page, and I'll show you that here once we add them. So additional insured type, for the most part, it'll be a landlord. Uh, again, those are the people that you're renting space from, things like that. Event show would be if it's uh, a farmer's market, if you have a booth somewhere. Uh, and then retailer distributors, if you um, usually wouldn't be an option for you. So let's choose landlord, because XYZ building owner is who is added as an additional insured. You'll put in the mailing address that they want to have listed. Put down the city, the state, select the state and then the zip code. And right here, you just click Add Additional Insured. And you can make sure that that was done here, because again, it'll take you back to your page and it says Add Additional Insured was added successfully. Now, um, this Additional Insured didn't cost us any money because we already added an Additional Insured onto the policy. If you haven't added an, ad an Additional Insured onto a, the policy before, it will ask for a payment of $10. But after that $10 is paid, you can add as many additional insureds onto the policy as you need at no extra cost after that. So you'll see here, once you added those additional insureds, that the download documents are available, and you can actually download those certificates um, for your own records or attach them to uh, an email that you want to send to them. And that can be done 24-7 by logging onto your dashboard page. Uh, if you have any questions, again, you can call this number up top, or you can go and click on the Contact Us button to find other ways to contact us and talk with one of our friendly agents. If there's anything else we can do, please let us know, and hopefully this was helpful for you. Uh, we love helping uh, these pet care businesses grow and succeed, and we want to help you too by offering all of these services online, um, again, at no cost after that, after that first $10 to add an additional insured. If you need anything else, please let us know. Thanks. Bye.